on the way to Cowboy Lingo. You ready? <laughs> Woo! The trails are busy today. So you're gonna go get our cabin key? Yeah. Are you excited? Get the trailer out of the handicap parking. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Look at the leaves. Well, this is us. Yeah, remember the row of trees, pine trees? Eight. Is that the haunted one, 13? No, 13 is the haunted one. This is That's eight. eight. There's nine. There's David. And there's ten. And there's ours. There's our little home. Howdy! DJ. Oh look, we got lots of wood, look. Ready? Are you ready for the pretty? I'm ready. The Jones cabin. Uh, no, not this week it ain't. <laughs> I think Daniel Boone lives in here. Yeah, no doubt. He had air conditioning back then. I didn't know that. <laughs> Daniel Boone had AC. How about that? So it does have heat and air, which is cool. You got TV. It's got, this is cabin 10. It's got satellite, I think Dish Network. Just like the Pioneers. Yeah. Look here. <laughs> this Pioneer Microwave, Pioneer Electric Range. <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure George Washington had one of these at the Potomac. These cabins are about 100 years old, though. They were built, what was it, the CCC? Yeah, 30s. Oh, pretty, though, ain't they? So basically, they were built by people that came down here to try to... You want to explain it to you? Uh, it had to do with reclamation. They were trying to develop land while keeping its natural, pristine state. And all of the stuff was locally sourced. All of the logs, all the, the stone, all that stuff was locally sourced. And they just built all this stuff here. The cute. Yeah, it is. You're already on it. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. I guess we should bring our stuff in. So there's a little fire pit back here and a grill and a picnic table. So if you get nine and ten, they're right next to each other and there's no one else around, which is cool. And it already has wood. I think the people just left it here. Very cool. Alright, we're going to ride a little bit before it gets dark. Yay! My 
helmet on all proper. Yeah. How cool is that? That's our cabin right there. Now the side by side. We got a beautiful little place here. Look back in there. It goes way back in there. And got a road down this way. And there's a couple more cabins down that way. Got this little pretty creek. Little stream. This babbling little brook right across the you know, right across the road from our cabin. Look at that. How pretty that is. Beautiful out here, isn't it? Just everywhere you look. Saw a giant copperhead last night. We came in, we went out for maybe an hour, something like that. We got in late. And uh, uh, we loaded up the side-by-sides and went out for about an hour or so. Coming back, we saw this huge copperhead right down here monstrous thing you know me of course you know me i've got to jump out and show everybody look it's copperhead <laughs> i can't help it <laughs> but check that little cabin out man how cool that is that's gina's over there it's heather's buddy they came with us they're they're doing trail riding with us and stuff and we got one cabin they got the other or we got one cabin they got the other get it right but uh, we're getting ready here in a few. Uh, we're expecting at least some rain some point today. You know, showers if nothing else. So, uh, you know, we're getting prepared for worst case. Just in case it does rain. You know, you've got the stuff with you just in case. But it uh, should be a fun day. Get out and... Now, I'm used to this stuff. You know, I ride trails for a living. <laughs> <laughs> almost like going to work for me <laughs> but that's cool I, I like my job that, that it's cool so you know yeah <laughs> but anyway i guess we're gonna go in here get situated and get the machines loaded up and get ready for a day in the mountains look at them old pine trees beautiful isn't it a hundred and some odd feet. I'm going to say ballpark 120, 130, somewhere in that, something in that, something in that ballpark. Great big ones. <sighs> but this should be a fun day. All right, I'm going to go get situated, get all my gear on, and get ready to go have some fun.
Oh, it's a beautiful fall morning, isn't it? Yeah, look at the stonework in this. Just imagine how long this took. Just for this one little thing, this one little ditch. <clears throat> the CCC, it's the Civilian the Conservation Corps. Leaves falling. Yeah. They built all this stuff, I think, uh, 20s and 30s, and built all this stuff here. Look at the leaves falling. So pretty, I love fall. It's like Mickey Mouse or a kidney or maybe a pituitary gland. <laughs> this cute little bridge. I don't need water in the creek though. And that back there, here, for firewood. People used to live in these cabins. You notice the mossy stuff on the roof? Yeah. Now keep in mind, if you come out and stay at these cabins, there's <clears throat> middle of nowhere. I mean, there's a gas station at the, if you go up the road, but there's no grocery store or anything. So bring tin foil and paper towels and all that good stuff. We were going to cook hot dogs last night and didn't bring any tin foil. So, but luckily we brought our pro, little propane oven. I kind of like to bring that everywhere. Good little backup plan. Easy and good. Look at the leaves. <laughs> So over there is our friends, Gina and David. They got the cabin right next to us, which is pretty neat because it's just us two and no one else. <clears throat> this is cute. I'd like to, it'd be fun to come up here and have Christmas. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Could you live in a little log cabin this size? Could you live in one? It's very basic. I mean, you're not going to have a lot of things your dressers and all your, your yeah. junk in coming with you. I'd do it if I could have all of this garages. <laughs> I need a place to work. I could do it. I actually wouldn't mind having something like that to go stay at like a month here and there and do stories and stuff. Um, I don't know about long term. I'd have to really think about it. We'd have yeah. to get rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah, and you're out in the middle of nowhere too. I feel like the novelty would wear off because we have this kind of peace and quiet at our own home, you know? It's not like we're, we live and work in the city and we come here to escape. I mean, our lives are pretty peaceful where we live and we can have fires and do whatever we want, too, so. It's not as remote as this, but I don't know if I want it as remote as this. I don't know. Look at all them leaves falling on the cabin i think i like the illusion of rem remoteness i like to feel like you're remote but you can drive to walmart in here. 10 it looks minutes like snow. <laughs> looks like it's snowing <laughs> guys you're missing it get your stuff and get down here <laughs> 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 so we're going to go riding today. We're going to just stay on some green trails. Um, Leo's experience, but me not so much. I don't go out on the UTV that much. And Gina and David just got their machine. So we're going to try to keep it simple. We also don't know the trails, but we're hoping to stumble across one of the cemeteries and maybe the wild horses or feral horses, I should say. Yeah. And then once we get out there, I can start blasting it and they'll have to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> nice little picnic spot. I like to 
get a video of that. Oh, hello. Parked you right in front of the steps, didn't I? Look at all this old stonework. Now these old forest fire watch towers, uh, they're they're obsolete. Uh, you know, you can if you're from a forest fire, if you're standing from your vantage point in a forest fire watch tower, you can tell there's a fire out that way somewhere. But nowadays they use um, satellite imagery. Huh. Altitude marker, no doubt. North that way. Check that out. But like I was saying, they, they use satellites now because you can see where the fire starts, where it ends, how far it extends, all that stuff with one picture. So that's why these are obsolete and she's gated well partially gated it's actually easier walk up the hillside beside the stairs look at those trees though wind beautiful day Okay, check that out. We'll guess 130 feet, 140 feet, something like that. Ballpark. Stairs going all the way up. First landing's been taken out though to keep anybody from going up there. There's a little, little bitty house way up on top of this thing where the, uh, forest fire watchman you know he was on duty whoever was on duty he had to you know that's where you live you come up here and you climb up the tower and that's your little house you know you stay there <laughs> cool huh
How pretty those trees are. Is pretty cool. Look at that creepy. No doubt, man. Check this out. Way back on top of a mountainside. I mean, on top, top of a mountain. We've been coming up trails for this trail to that trail for. 1897, right there, Wallace, James Williamson, Sarah, Caro, 1840-1968. Spalding, 1853-1946. So did you have fun today? Yeah, I did. Had a good time. What was your funnest part? Hanging out with you. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I like the trails. They're not well. I mean, I like hanging out with you too. Okay. But <laughs> I do like the trails. Are you know they're 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 peaceful. They're not. I guess it depends on what you like. But if you like really chaotic trails you probably won't yeah. like them but they do have some black trails they've got some blacks here and they've got a bunch of single tracks too but the cool thing about this place is you've got all these old ccc works here and you can rent incredibly beautiful hundred year old cabins for about what you'd pay for a motel six or something you know you can get really nice stuff here and they're all state owned it's it's a you know state forest or state park so you know everything is maintained really well and they don't try to rip you on firewood stuff like that 
Uh, I don't even know if they sell firewood though. They gave us firewood. That's what he was checking to see if we. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the firewood was definitely handy, and um, the cabin has satellite. It has Wi-Fi. Um, I really, as far as price goes, I think this one bedroom one was around a hundred dollars. But the bigger ones, I think, are actually like 130-ish. You can look online. That's a great deal, though. It is. It is a good deal. It is. I mean, Airbnb. Uh, we used to get those a lot, but with the cleaning fees and the, they've just gotten really kind of ridiculous. Right. I just me. Um. I mean, I've had a better experience here than I've had at a lot of Airbnbs. So. Yeah, no doubt. And it's it's, it's peaceful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Everywhere you look, and just out back behind the cabin, look how pretty that is. Leaves falling, looks like snow out here when a gust of wind comes by. And you don't have to trailer anywhere, you just come here and ride, you know. Jump out and go, that's it. But there's definitely a learning curve. We're not familiar with this area. and uh, I mean, I can see why you would want a trail guide going to places. It really is just... A lot better i really do think so i mean yeah. a lot of people will you know argue that in, in groups and stuff and say well just use a map or bob t maps or whatever but it really just nothing beats just letting someone else who knows the area just lead you. you yeah and if if you're wanting to explore you know that's a little bit different but if you're wanting to see the sights and actually enjoy yourself have a great trip that sort of thing you're better off with a guide yeah, because, I mean, it took us all day just to find the fire tower <laughs> and the cemeteries. Marks. Because even reading the map, it's not as easy as it would seem. But, um, I like it. I've always liked this area. It's just, like, incredibly peaceful. It's not like other state parks where it's just packed to the gills, you know? Yeah, yeah. There ain't that many people here. And everybody's been really nice. We've had a couple um, park rangers come by and say hello. And, you know, one of them watched our YouTube, and that was pretty neat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's always weird to be recognized. You know, we have a, sm it's a small channel, and it's, it's a strange how often we get recognized. So... Yeah, the Can Am no. got spotted today. It wasn't us. It was the Can Am. Oh yeah. Yeah, he saw my hateful license plate on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're grateful though. We're so glad that we get to do something fun and bring you guys along with us. You know, it makes it. I don't know. I think we're wired to be YouTubers. I really do. Yeah. So well, it's kind it of natural. A whole new dimension. You know, you're enjoying this stuff. You're having a great time doing the video. Adds a whole new dimension, you know, to what you're doing. You yeah. Know, whole new layer. Didn't mm -hmm. he know it was there? So it stopped raining and the fire's going now. Yeah. Yeah, I got a good one going now. Just sitting out here contemplating the meaning of life and junk. <laughs> figure it out? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it's about having fun while you're here. <laughs> Is that what it's about? I think so. <laughs> Enjoying the ride. I think that's the motto here theme name of the game i will say one thing about youtube you may not get rich but man it's got some perks to this job this is this is up my alley for sure i like this
you know I mean I'm used to I'm used to a lot of this you know wilderness woodsy you know up the side of a mountain somewhere you know I'm used to that I, I do that you know I do that for a living you know on YouTube and you know trail tours side by sides ATVs you know but to just you know you've got your fire you've got hot coffee little pro tip for you here guys always if you set your cup near the fire turn the side where you put your mouth away from the fire <laughs> burn your mouth that way learn that one the hard way too but anyway what i'm saying you know i've got i've got my little fire you know picnic table got toys scattered all over the place here you know i got a beautiful little cabin you see i mean man this is a cool job this is an awesome job i've had some bad ones in my time i've had a lot of bad ones in my time <laughs> this is not one of them there y'all wanna i was doing this earlier you know how you're sitting around the fire just watching it and i'd share just a minute or so of that with you guys you know, some of you may live in cities and can't have you a campfire. There you go, my friend. You can share mine. Just rewind that and put it on a loop if you need more. <laughs> Use as needed. <laughs> uh, the rain has stopped hasn't rained in a while a little drizzle passed through earlier winds died down which i kind of like the wind you know i'm i'm well you know <laughs> i have i have toys you know <laughs> you know <laughs> but when i'm outside you know rain wind snow it's all the same to me <laughs> you know this is this is nice though the temperature is just great it's like um I'm going to say ballpark. It's about 60. It's not real warm. Not real cold either. But, you know, you just move back and forth to the fire as needed. You know, and as soon as everybody gets back, tonight will be our, our last night here at the cabins. So, we'll probably get us a big bonfire going a little bit later after it gets dark. Anyway, we'll see y'all at our next little adventure. We've still yet got a whole bunch of stuff to do tomorrow when it's just Heather and I. We've got some plans to go hit uh, some ruins in the area from the CCC uh, from the, you know, 30s. All kinds of really cool stuff, you know, old, like these old works right here. This is from the 30s. We showed y'all that yesterday on the video, but, you know, since we're talking about it, you know, you can see... Now, this is all stone, hand laid, hand cut stone. The amount of work that went into this one little ditch is astronomical. Just one little ditch. I mean, it's yeah, 100, a little better than 100, 140 feet, I'm gonna guess, give or take. And you can see all the stones cut and laid in place on the perfect angle to make a V all the way down. And there you, you did not need to do this. You could have just simply cut a little notch and the water that runs, you know, runs out of the hill would have, you know, you didn't need to do all that. But realistically, the CCC, they were just trying to put people to work. You know, that was the main goal of like the entire thing, you know, was, was the work, not necessarily the jobs you're doing, you know? But they sure did a lot of really cool work, didn't they? And there's a bunch of these. Some of them, uh, there's some newer ones and, you know, really pretty cabins and some older ones, too. Uh, there's some that are older than these. I don't think these are the oldest ones here. But anyway, I just thought I would share that with you guys, you know. That's just a really cool moment. And it was, you know, just it just occurred to me that you know this whole youtube channel thing with you know with all you guys doing that and going out and shooting this video and all this kind of adventures and 
you know, all this with you guys. You know what I mean. This has been a fun ride, and, you know, thank y'all. Because, you know, couldn't have done it without y'all, so very much thank y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy this video, too. I really do. It's absolutely beautiful. The leaves are changing. There's golds and oranges and reds, and there's still a lot of green. We're not at peak yet, but, man, it's getting there. There was some of the stuff we saw today back up on top of the mountains, you know, where it gets cold, cold. Oh, man, just yellow. Just looks like fire all the way down through there. I'm, I'm sure the camera didn't catch it, but it just looked like just amazing, just oranges and yellow flames or something, you know, all the way down through this trail, and you're just looking at this going, my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, they can. <laughs> Ooh. That foil on top is a good trick, too. It keeps the flames down. It did, didn't it? Yeah. I use it just for the heat, but I didn't realize it does keep the flames yeah, down. Yeah, it sure does. There's well, a lot hamburger's fat. greasy anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of fat in that hamburger. Looking good. Look at that. Yeah, I just took them over the little uh, thing outside. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> get Gina's marshmallow. Oh, my marshmallow. What is it? Oh, you got a s'more. Oh, a s'more. Got a whole s'more. Ah, a whole s'more going on here. Whoa. Yeah, let me get the light right. With the in it. Yeah, I got the ones that have chocolate in the marshmallows. <laughs> 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 s'mores huh i don't think i've ever actually done real s'mores mm. i mean you know it's Good. i know it's a thing people do but <laughs> i love them fire looks cool mm -hmm. warm up a wet butt pretty quick too if you stand <laughs> in the right spot <laughs> yeah. just don't set it on fire <laughs> Done. You're looking good, ain't they? Yeah. Those tomatoes look very bad. I mean, that's a good burger. Yeah, this yeah. may be the best burger I've ever had. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, good. You're just real hungry. <laughs> no, he's super picky. So he's good. <laughs> good. Me picky? <laughs> Probably the. Is that Bigfoot? Don't pick it up. Oh my god, don't pick it up. Okay. Keep Hello. doing it. Haunted Halloween -y candle lighting. Uh, we want to talk to you. Why don't you want to cooperate? What's wrong with it? I think it's the witch of Cowboy Lingo. Yeah, Nelly. Nelly. <laughs> I bet you there's some little bass in there. Yeah. So this morning we're at the Cowboy Lingo trailhead. trailhead. See the sign right there. <laughs> And we're gonna check out a few more things before we head home. Yeah, because got, why not? Got the cabin all packed up, everything loaded, but we're gonna park here at the trailhead and go back out for a little while. 
yeah there's a couple more cemeteries and just some things that we didn't get yesterday because it's kind of rainy and gloomy which is pretty chilly today but <coughs> not too bad Ready to go? Adventure day three. Let's do it. <laughs> this is where we would cue the tone loke music, but we'd get copyright. Du -du 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 -du. Remember that song? <laughs> so this is on trail ten. We were told that <clears throat> so this is the fire the watchtower right up here. The fire tower. Um and we we're told that the cabin what is it, the Fire Watchman's Tower? Yeah, yeah the, the Fire Watchman's Cabin was right here. And they, they mentioned that the, the picnic tables, the only thing that was left. Check it out. Walnut. Hey, that's a big walnut. <laughs> so this would be, can you imagine having a cabin right here? This would be a really beautiful overlook every day. Look at the colors. Look at the trees, though. I mean, look at the, the colors. The vibrant. This hot pinks. <laughs> so pretty. I don't know if the camera can even pick that up, really. It's getting there. The hot pink right here. We're not quite at peak color, but we're getting there real quick. Yeah, we're getting there. It's getting colder at night. It was, yeah. what, 43 last 40, night? Yeah. As soon as it hits a little bit of a little colder snap, it's on like Donkey Kong. I, that stuff, this will probably do it right here. I'd say two weeks will be peak color. If that long. We usually are. We usually go mid-October to about the first week in November. <coughs> it's peak co colors. I'm just kind of curious. You can see any cabin parts. <coughs> I'm over here. You see part of a log something right mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah. Like a little shed. Yeah, that's probably that's right. his woodshed. Here. That was probably the woodshed. Most of the cabins have, have a woodshed behind them. They've all got fireplaces. This is a really cool place, though, man. You come over here and trail ride, stay in beautiful cabins. The trails aren't real challenging. Most of them are green. They do have a couple blacks. Yeah, there's blacks some blacks. And there, some there are blues. a few blacks, but... A lot of this, you know, if you're in like casual riding, this is a really good place. Yeah, it's a good family. Yeah. Fun yeah. kind of place. Yeah, exactly. You know, nothing super scary if you don't want it to be. You can get around on greens if you want to. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, now this right here is the Tick Ridge Campground. It's primitive camping up here. Uh, there's no power. I don't think they got power or water. Uh, there may be a couple, you know, like the pavilion power, maybe. I'm not sure about that. But uh, there's all kinds of campsites out here. It's really primitive. You can see the, the trail. little road goes out this way, out through there and loops, and comes back out. But you've got this great big pavilion here, you know, in case it rains or something. You can come over here and build you a fire and, you know, just have you a good old time up here. Check that out, man. How cool is that? Look at them tables. Look how those things are built, man. That is tough. Look at that. Those things built to last, ain't they? Those are built to last. And looks like they've done it. But there's the big fireplace. <laughs> <coughs> and like I said, you've got um, all sorts of primitive sites here primitive campsites that you can just come up here and the trails you know literally go right by here and if you go right out here to the left and up the hill that's uh where the old uh, the forest fire watchtower is up there it's just off of tick ridge and the trail system itself goes right by right in front of your campground <laughs> so you can just jump in your machine or jeep you know, you're allowed to have Jeeps here. This is the one, I think this is the only one, if I'm not mistaken, where you're allowed to have Jeeps on this trail system. So, yeah, you can just come up here and 
have a good old time and your the trails go right down this way you just take right down through there and go have a ball but look how pretty this place is this is nice isn't it that's a bathhouse there bathrooms place is nice isn't it but anyway this was on the way so we just thought we would stop here and show you show you guys tick ridge campground real quick George T. Ferguson. And Polly Ann Ferguson, 1936-1941. Nancy Maynard looks like eighteen eighty one. Wow, eighteen seventy here. Eighteen seventy, yeah. Polly Ferguson, eighteen seventy two, nineteen forty six. Like, how were they living? What were their lives like before it was a state park? And, you know, the guy back there born in 1870, where did he live? And how did he make do back here? Yeah. How did he wind up in this spot? Now my feet are wet. <laughs> well, that was, that was neat. Rest in peace, everybody. On to the next one. Browning. Oh, that feels good on my back. See how quiet. Nothing was stirring, not even a mouse, or a groundhog, no or a squirrel. <laughs> now this right here, we just stopped for a second. We saw this. I've seen this before. We came over, Heather and I came over several years ago. I've been over a few times. But uh, I just thought I'd show you this. We hadn't videoed it, and you can see the trail bridge going across and there's hiking trails and stuff and this is one of many 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 old ruins from the ccc the civilian uh conservation corps i believe it was i'm not mistaken they built all kinds of stuff here this one's been redone recently you can tell these logs ain't 100 years old and a lot of them you can you can tell they're really old but they did use the old style here you know, they used the same style that they did on all of the other old works here, old stone works. But just look at that bridge. How pretty is that? And then this is directly behind, right there. Now these, they had, uh, there's several of these, you know, where basically it's just a little spot to have lunch. You know, that kind of thing when you're out working. Uh, that's what they were built for. It's not what they're used for now, obviously. But uh, that's where they came from. But we're going to head up here in a minute. We're going to take the uh, UTV back and uh, put some stuff up and head on up to the old ruins. And I wanted to make sure that we got that stuff before we left because it is incredibly beautiful. And the only video we got on that was years ago 
with an old cell phone. So I'm thinking we go up there with the GoPro, especially this time of year. I mean, my God, those old ruins should be, should be beautiful. Should be breathtaking, even on camera. Okay, now this here is just a quick little stop. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all something. Uh, this is something from, from my childhood, actually. You know, sharing something here for, you know, from my childhood. When I was little, probably about eight years old, this is the old 4-H camp. And I remember coming up here one time when I was a little, little kid for summer camp. Yeah, imagine that. That's the kitchen right there. But this right here is called Council Circle Trail. And you go up there and there's these little benches and they're all in a circle. And, you know, that was where the camp counselors presumably would go to drink after the end of the day. I don't know what they did. You know, they're counselors. I was a kid. I don't know what they're doing at the end of the day. <laughs> don't know what they're doing in the woods. But, yeah, okay. But, uh, <laughs> the uh, check this out. And you've got all this pretty little countryside, all this stuff. And just walk right around the building here real quick. I want to show y'all something. Beautiful place, isn't it? Just way back in the mountains. Uh, the uh, Cowboy Lingo uh, Trailhead is just right. You see a little bridge right there. You cross that bridge and it's maybe 75 yards, 100 yards to the trailhead. But this right here is what I wanted to show you. I can remember this from when I was about eight years old. When I went here to summer camp here, when I was little itty bitty Leo, right? Little tiny Leo. My bunk was, if I remember right, it was either the third or fourth window down. So it would have been right, right about there. And this side was all boys and this side was all girls. There's the bathrooms and up here's the kitchens where they would cook all the meals. Uh, I can remember us, uh, we took Coke bottles and melted wax and made Coke bottle candles and, you know, just little crafts and stuff that, you know, that they do with kids, you know, summer camp. But uh, there was a swimming pool. You go right down here, the pool's not there anymore. They filled it in when they put the trailhead office down there. They don't use the pool, so they filled it in. But I can remember going down to the pool at summer camp. Anyway, I just thought I'd stop here for just one quick second and show y'all this because, you know, it's kind of special to Leo and, you know, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Oh, this is on red. What's that? Oh. Just in time, it's starting to pour rain and freeze to death. My feet are wet. <laughs> Anyone want to send me some uh, rain boots? I could sure use them. <laughs> or how about recommend me some rain boots? Either one. So apparently we left our cooler and the park ranger you forgot your cooler in the cabin thanks ranger craig how sweet was that thank you craig and thank you all the staff actually you've all been really great we appreciate it really good people here tracked us down to bring our cooler back yeah they actually came to where we're riding and put it in the back of the the truck so i appreciate that i had a lot of stuff in it including our dinner for tonight <laughs> <laughs> so from heather and i to all of you guys y'all have a really good day we appreciate you coming along and hope you enjoyed our video you guys have a really and good get day. out to visit cowboy lingo yeah definitely come out here you've got to get you guys have got to They're come really out really nice here. yeah and the fall colors you've got about maybe another week or so so yeah this is the time to if you ain't booked something you you got to about the first week in november in all seriousness yeah get get on the internet and get something booked 
<laughs> or do it next year, you know, or spring. It's it's all good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, anyway, from all of, from both of us to all of you guys, y'all have a really great day, and we'll see you next time on the Hillbilly Files. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then my stomach.